All right, we are live. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. It's also March 1st, and there's something, there's an energy that you get at the beginning of the month, same way of the energy that you get at the beginning of a new year that I think we need to tap into. I think that energy is the ability to, that it's a fresh start, right? It's just a fresh, fresh start. And so let's talk about that, right? Okay, I'm just gonna make sure everything is good live in the Facebook group. Everything is streaming as it should. Oops, and then you will go from there. If you're on live or watching the replay, please let me know you're here. I would love if you say hashtag live, hashtag replay, or just say the word itself. And also, yeah, just let me know you're here and let me know um, how your February went. I love to do this exercise um, with my clients. We even do it sometimes here in the group, this reflective exercise that can just be so powerful. Um, but we'll, let me, let me, Make sure I hit record before we dive on in that we'll, we'll do start before we get started. Okay, I'm gonna hit record. All right, everyone, welcome to this episode of Training Tuesday. Um, I used to do training Thursdays, uh, but Thursdays are just a harder day for me to go live. And I, I'm ha I haven't been going live every single Tuesday, but when I do, it'll probably be on Tuesdays, but you'll be the first to know here in the Facebook group, More Than Your Weight Women's Community, or uh, if you are subscribed to my email, usually I let you know in the PS of my Tuesday email. And so all things trying to update you. But happy March 1st. I was just talking about before I hit record that March is such, uh, the beginning of a new month kind of reminds me of the beginning of a new year. It's just this brings this fresh possibility, new chances, new chances and a new space to really step into uh, really moving forward in whatever goal you have. But I think one of the most powerful things you can do before you move forward in any new month, any new season, any new year is to reflect. And so I've started doing this uh, at the beginning of the month. So I try to do it on the first, if not the second, where I reflect back on the last month, what went well and why, what didn't go so well and why, and what can make this month even better. Those are the three basic, simple questions. We can get way more in depth and to what different areas of my business or my life or my health I look at there. But I think we're talking about health here, right? So picking those, using those three questions, ask yourself, what went well and why in February? What didn't go so well and why? And then what can make March even better? And why I love starting with the celebrating question is because this is something that I have really recognize that most of my clients struggle with. And they struggle with this because we as women struggle with this. We just struggle to believe that anything we do is good enough because we're constantly looking at the areas where we may have fallen short versus the areas that we have actually been moving forward and taking progress in. So say for the, say this month, if you got into the routine of drinking water consistently, and that was like the main thing you worked on, that is worth celebrating because that means you have that habit down pat. And then asking yourself, well, what made that happen? Well, I carried around a water bottle at all times and every time it was empty, I filled it up, right? So just understanding the why because the why kind of attributes to what you did to make it happen or what you didn't do maybe. Um, for the second question, like what, what didn't go so well? Like maybe you plan all the intention of walking but maybe you just got work got busy or you just didn't feel motivated so you didn't do it as much, right? So what the why was, was that you got busy, you were tired, right? And so when then we look at what went well and what didn't go so well, and we ask ourselves, okay, so what can make next month even better? I like to draw upon the strengths of this exercise, what went well, like, well, I just had, I made sure that I had a visual reminder there every time I looked at my water bottle to drink water. Okay, so what can I do for exercise to make sure that I do the same? Okay, well, okay, well. I know that if I want to exercise in the morning, my workout clothes need to be like right there when I wake up or I need to sleep in them, <laughs> whatever it is, right? So just under, drawing upon what went well and what you did to make that happen will help you adjust for the next month, all right? So this is a very powerful exercise that you should do, I think, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly. So I, I try to lead my clients through this in all those, in the, all those ways in some way. 
All right. So do that. Let me know your answers. If you're watching this live or on the replay, would love to love. Yeah, would love to just hear your own reflections on February and kind of how you're entering March, right? How you're entering this new, new month we have. And I'm just going to post the replay here in the event so that it, I mean, um, the video so people can see that. Okay. So this training, this little spicy title, but um, I don't know if it's that spicy, but behind the scenes of what working with me one-on-one -on -one looks like. So I uh, have run group programs before. I just finished running a 30-day Healthy Habits Jumpstart, which was amazing. The ladies rocked it. In October, I ran my six-week food freedom boot camp. Amazing takeaways. I've done like the whole 30 as a group program before. I've done a lot of things as groups. And I love high level group coaching work. It's, it, it brings me so much joy to really be able to offer coaching content and community to women in that, in the, that container. But what I actually come alive in the most, what I believe my clients come alive in the most, and what may make you come alive the most is one-on-one -on -one support. Because one-on-one -on -one support is very, very customized to you, where you're at and where you want to be. And there's something special about it. There's something, there's something safe about it. There's something supportive and encouraging about it. So I wanted to talk today to talk about what working with me one-on-one -on -one looks like. And before I get into that, I really want to give you a little bit, if you're either new to me or you need a refresher of my journey in particular into starting coaching and why I chose to leave my accounting um, uh, auditing job to pursue the health and wellness field, you know, I'm a coach as well as an essential oils mentor and advocate, but why I mainly did that to first, my first love coaching. I also want to talk about what coaching is and what it isn't, because I think at the very beginning of my career, I think people thought I would, I was something else. And that's fine. I think every coach has their niche and what they're doing. So I almost want to say what my coaching is, <laughs> my coaching isn't, you know, three benefits you get when you sign up for coaching with me. Um, the six special aspects kind of behind the scenes of things that you have access to when you start working with me, what I believe now is the best time to invest in your health and how to book a complimentary clarity call. Like that is your step after listening to this, to see if one-on-one -on -one coaching is right for you. Okay. So what is coaching? What it isn't. So coaching is at its core, a space where you at least so this is how I operate as a coach right where you can share where you're at in your goals where you know how your week's been what you want to most work on what are your struggle points what is going well what's not going well and I provide a space where I listen to you I ask questions based off of what you're saying and actually often ask questions based off of what you're not saying. Because <laughs> sometimes we often think, you know, sometimes we're communicating something like, I really just need to stop emotional eating. I kind of do this, this, and this. And then I may ask the question, well, what, 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 what's really driving you to, to eat out of your emotion? What's really going on? Like you may think the problem is emotional eating, but the problem may be something else. And as a coach, my, journey, my job is to really help you also see what you can't see in a positive way, especially because as women, we actually are doing a lot of great things, even in our health. We just don't give ourselves credit for it. We're constantly looking at what's going wrong, uh, but also help you then figure out what is the best solution for you in that thing going forward. Like, what do you need to work on and narrow it down? And so a coaching, that could be in a coaching session, that could be in a um, communication in between sessions, but basically as your coach, I am there to support you in whatever goals you have um, to give you clarity. I guess we're getting into the three benefits, like to give you clarity as to what is really what you need to work on and the kind of those top things to challenge you. Uh, sometimes challenging you in your beliefs that are not serving you, sometimes challenging you that you can do more, or sometimes challenging you to really move past something that may be holding you back, but also to celebrate you and teach you how to get your, give yourself all these things, clarity, 
challenge yourself and celebrate yourself. Because again, as women, we are not seeing the positive steps that we are often doing moving forward. We're just kind of looking at what's, what's, what's absent. Okay. Uh, and so as a coach, as your coach, I could pro help provide you that clarity challenge and celebration and why I call myself. Okay. So what, sorry, what, what isn't, what do like basically not what isn't coaching, but like, what do I not necessarily do? I'm not a, like, I'm not going to provide you tons of meal plans, like specific meal plans for you. I have a, there's a lot of resources I have that can, there's tons of recipes for you that you can choose from. I have, a, I have definitely my, some of my favorite meal planning services, but I'm not here to tell you exactly what you need to eat at exactly the same, right, the sort of same portion that you need to eat or what exactly you need to do for exercise or what exactly you need to do. I'm here to offer you suggestions and solutions and help you then figure out which one of those are is best for you. Okay. And so if you're not really, hopefully you're understanding that I'm not prescribing you what you need to do. I'm merely offering you kind of like a buffet of choices and really helping you figure out what is the best choice for you, because that is empowerment. If I just told you what to do all the time, you would, you would constantly need me or need someone always to tell you what's right or wrong. And what I want us, what I eventually want all my clients to move towards is yes, many clients continue to work with me even after our six months together, but I want you to be able to make, learn how to make these decisions on your own, learn how to process hard things, learn how to like go out into a, to a, a night out and know what foods to pick for your body, right? Really empower you to know what is best for you and to have the confidence to choose that even when other people are choosing different or you feel like, even you may feel like it's the wrong thing sometimes, right? I want to empower you to be the best version of you and know what is best for you in your health and life. And so that is why I call myself a holistic health and life coach, because in my experience, in my own journey, as well as in my experience in working with clients, it is not just about your physical body. Taking care of yourself starts there. Like, I think when we can step into a space where we see our bodies as worth, like valuable, valuable, valuable priceless things and worth the time and energy to take care of ourselves. I think it opens up looking at other areas of our life and saying, my goodness, I really want to grow in my um, career. I really want to grow in my relationships. I really want to grow in spiritually. And because you have told yourself that it is, you have the ability and capability to grow in this one area of health that you may have felt stuck in so long, you can grow in the other areas. And so I'm a holistic health and life coach because I'm not going to ignore the other areas of your life that matter to you and that actually contribute to your health and can be in, in impacted by your physical health and vice versa, right? Because when we look at the whole picture, we're able to make ourselves well, not just physically, but emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially, vocationally, relationally, all of that sort of stuff, right? And I have found is that when you really can look at the whole picture not trying to change everything in the whole picture, but just seeing how it's all connected, you start to move forward in your physical health specifically. All right. So through that clarity, through that challenge, through that celebration, I'm able to help guide you into what is best for you in a given situation, in a given season. And so I do that through six, I don't want to say steps, but six aspects, six different parts. And the first is what I'm asking you to do if you're listening is the clarity call. So this is kind of the first step in working with me. And this is a space where you get to uh, get clarity. You get to just share, breathe. This is what's really going on. This is what I want. This is what I desire more than just like to lose weight. I want to feel good. I want to feel strong. I want to feel healthy. I want to feel like and celebrate myself with more than just my weight. I want to create health. I, whatever it is you want, you get to share that. I get to ask you some questions to really, to really get clarity around exactly what you want to work on. And then I share with you how my six month program uh, or even my 90 minute intensive can be a, a fit for you for where you're at. All right. Um, I really think that 
having this clarity call is really a it's a it's a blessing for you it's a blessing for me it just gives us both clarity of where you're at where you want to be and where whether or not we're a fit and some clients choose right in that moment on that clarity call to be like you know what I think this is the right fit let's let you know you get to ask questions of course you can, you don't have to just say yeah I'm ready to go you could be like what about this what about this what about this like get clarity ask those questions while we're chatting you know um and then after that clarity call hopefully you're a little bit more clear whether or not it's a fit and if it is a fit then we move on to the second part which is the onboarding process I onboard every client and what that looks like is it's a variety of different things um part of it is uh, setting you up to make the payments for monthly coaching easy uh part of it is uh you being able to like, you take it, um, you go into my calendar and say like, where, which, which sessions work best for me. So picking a time in my calendar that works best for you for our coaching sessions. You also um, get a welcome email and a welcome packet with a bunch of goodies just saying here, here's all the things that you have access to now that you are a client. Um, and here's, you know, when I send it to you, could be a snail mail, all these kind of little goodies, just get you started and say welcome. And that onboarding process also includes, um, number three, which is a coaching intensive. So we actually kick off our six months together with a 90 minute intensive. And I sometimes work with women just in this 90 minute intensive, but I really love doing this as a part of the larger six month program, because that is a space where we have a little bit longer time. And you think 90 minutes is long. It's actually very short when you get to talking. We have 90 minutes to really just say like, it's kind of a goal setting um, reflection time where you just get we just dive deep we, we we stand we sit grounded and we just say what do you most want not just in the six months together but beyond and how can this six months help you and it's a coaching intensive so i'm gonna again i'm gonna ask questions and help you get clear help me get clear on then how can we make sure that the next six months are moving you towards that one step at a time okay and so part of this process is we have a clarity call, we do some onboarding, we have that coaching intensive, and then the, the bread and butter, uh, or I don't know, what, what else goes together? Oil and vinegar? I don't know if they actually go together. Um, we eat them all the time, but is um, the, the, co the biweekly coaching sessions. Now, these are the, probably the, my most favorite part because, again, it's a space where you can get consistently get support in in the areas we talked about in the in the 90 minute planning session, but also just with what's going on that week, right? So maybe um, in that 90 minute planning session, we said, okay, you wanna start walking consistently. So here, this is what a little bit of a plan. But then we meet up two weeks later and you're like, you know what, that's just not working. That time, that time frame, like I just feel like I need to adjust it. And so it's a space to, you know, share when something's not working, something you might be wrestling with, struggling with learning, but it's also a space to like recap, how did the last two weeks go? What went well, what didn't go so well and why, right? To be celebrated, to be encouraged, to be reminded that small steps are powerful and we can take those and they are moving us forward, right? So it, it is also a space where you get that clarity challenge and celebration. And those are usually like 45 minute sessions long and 45 minute minutes long. But again, um, you know, you'll, you'll enter into saying, this is what I most want to work on. We work on it. We get some, you get some coaching and then you leave with one or two steps to really help you, to really help you move forward in the next two weeks, just small, simple things to work on. And then as you're working on it, what you get is in, unlimited in-between coaching support. I use Slack right now, and this is just a communication channel, a texting service kind of, where you can just, where I'll check in on you in between so how things are going, do you, you know, um, what's going well, what's not going well, but also you can just ask questions. You can share when things are hard, you can be supported. And you know, like in your friendships, like having that support in between when you're living your life, when you're trying to do the things is just so instrumental and it's been one of my favorite parts of the coaching relationships that i've had in multiple areas of life but also um, that i've offered to women and so that is like also like the coaching sessions and the in-between support are like the bread and butter oil and vinegar strawberries and blueberries whatever of my program it is that they those are the two places that two spaces that you really will get that one-on-one -on -one customized support and so 
you have the clarity call, then you have the onboarding process, the coaching intensive, the between coaching sessions, bi-weekly coaching sessions, I'm sorry, in between um, e-support. And then lastly is an abundance of resources. So I am not just a coach. I think I'm, I know I'm a teacher at heart when I learned something. That's why I went into coaching, actually. The reason why I left my accounting job was just after all my learning and my experience of what it really means to take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And the truths that I learned, the foundational things about healthy habits and nutrition, I knew I had to share that with other people. It's the same reason why I teach and educate and support women in using doTERRA essential oils. It's just like what I learned, I just got to share because it's changed my life forever. And I have thoroughly enjoyed, it's been a joy of my life to help hundreds upon hundreds of women in both of those areas, coaching and oils ever since. And so the abundance of resources includes trainings that I've done. It includes this cheat sheets, or I don't like to wear cheat sheets, worksheets. Um, it includes recipes. It includes, you have access to my two group program courses, like the Healthy Habits Jumpstart, foundational um, elements of creating healthy habits, food freedom boot camp, which is like the six weeks of great mindset work around food, your body, your weight, diet, your scale, and yourself. You have access to all of that. And the beautiful thing is when you're working one on one versus those programs, is you don't need to feel like you need to do it all because you have access to a life for a lifetime after working with me six months. But as things come up through our coaching, through our communication, I would say, hey, this training here from this resource is something that may support you. So feel free to watch it in between our sessions and just get that in between support. And so the beautiful thing about having access to that abundance of resources and coaching is I can customize even that experience for you because so many of us get overwhelmed with information and we're trying to learn upon learn upon learn with new podcasts, new summits, new all that, which is great. Like, listen, I love learning those things too, but there's a reason why I invest in um, coaching myself. There's a reason I invest in mentorship myself. There's a reason why I invest in all that because I need, as much as I love learning, it's actually one of my strengths in the strength finder. I need someone to help me make sure, help me just sift through all the noise and focus on what I need to most focus on. And that is what I do for my clients. And that is what I can do for you. All right. And so the six ways, you know, six aspects of working with me behind the scenes is yes, we do this clarity call on Zoom or on the phone where we just get clear on what you want to work on and how my six month program. If you say yes, we go on to the onboarding process, which includes a coaching intensive to help us just create uh, clear expectations and intentions for you over the six months that are aligned with your overall goals. Then there's bi weekly coaching sessions in between um, e support and an abundance of resources. And all of that is designed to help to really not take up a lot of your time. I mean, I'm talking 30 minutes to an hour a week to invest in direction and clarity and support around your health. You say, Brianna, I don't have the time. You can, you, you have the time. <laughs> you have the time for an hour a week for yourself, regardless if it's coaching with me or not. Like you have the time, you need to make the time. Your time is going somewhere else. I was just doing a podcast today with um, Dana Stone of winning at the mom life. And I'm like, winning at the mom life. Yes. And I just love that podcast. And I just love that idea of like, we're constantly, we just had a conversation. Like we're constantly just feeling like we, we don't have enough time, but that is a mindset. You have enough time. It's just letting go of what that time may look like. It's like, now that I'm a mom and I'm pregnant again and uh, you know, I used to like work out a lot, a lot, and I still work out quite a bit. It just looks different and it's less time, but it's just as effective and it's for where I'm at. Right. So we need to one, stop comparing ourselves to ourselves or one another and just say like, what do I most need and how can I create the time and get the resources and the support to get there? Listen, I have talked to tons of women who have been clients who have not been clients who've just been in my community, who've been in my pot. I, I just talked to even a lot of you probably. And I just got to give you a word and tell you that it is time to invest in your health. Again, whether that's with me, whether that's with something else, because now is the best time, not tomorrow, not when you have more of this and so not when this situation aligns, like you literally only have one you, one body 
one mind, one soul. And if you're not caring for that body and mind soul now, it will start to like stack upon stack upon stack upon stack of like, just, I don't know. You know, like when you, when you got to clean your house and you forget to clean and then just dirt upon dirt upon dirt and it's the same, and it's just harder to scrub. It's harder to deal with versus like, if you address it now, I goodness gracious. And the time you thought you wanted to do it, you could be way further ahead. And I'm just going to say that in the abundance of access to information, to resources, I'm so grateful for the internet, but many of us are just leaving often, uh, you know, just different health things confused. Uh, trying to apply all these things. And we're just not sure what works for us. And when you get one-on-one -on -one support, it is all about you. It's not about what works for this person. It's about you. It's about experimenting, figuring out what's best for you. And I have, uh, I've, I've been on this journey for nearly 20 years, 20 years of wrestling with under eating, wrestling with overeating, wrestling with body shame, wrestling with um, diets, wrestling with my weight, wrestling with the scale. And I've done tons, I've done tons of research, done this stuff. I've gotten certifications. I've, I've like done the work to like, not just support myself, but support you. So when you're hiring me, you're not just hiring, like someone to just be your buddy. You're hiring someone who has two decades of experience, two decades of knowledge, two decades of learning, who's helped hundreds of women in these areas of food, freedom, and healthy habits and living this lifestyle. And you can expedite your process. You can expedite. So you don't got to like sift through all this stuff. Like I've sifted through it all for you. <laughs> you know, I'm not to say that. And that's not to say I, I learned, know everything. I'm always learning. And that's why I love, you know, I love having other health professionals on my podcast, which soon going to bring back some interviews. That's why I love attending summits myself. That's why I love like learning myself because there's always more to learn about health and the body because it's our body is beautiful. And it, and it, it just, it requires different things to take care of it, take care of it. But I will say that I've learned a lot in these two years and I've learned a lot about coaching. I've learned a lot about women. I've learned a lot about health and I've learned a lot about life. And so if you are looking for someone to really support you, who's been there, done that, has, has done the work, has gotten the experience that I would love to do that for you. Okay. And so don't hesitate to book a call. It's a free clarity call. It's a space where you get to share. Brie, this is what I want. This is what I desire. And I get to share, well, here's how I'm, I can help you get there if you choose, if you feel like it's a great fit for you. All right. So that's a little bit behind the scenes, what working with me one-on-one -on -one looks like. It looks like challenge. It looks like clarity. It looks like celebration. It looks like tons of support, but ultimately it is about you. It's about helping you move forward one step at a time towards your goals, whether it's peace with food, whether it's uh, a weight that you feel good at, whether it's creating sustainable, healthy habits, like whatever it may be, I can help you get there. All right. And so if you book a call tonight, actually, you'll have access to that health breakthrough kit that I was mentioning a couple weeks ago, which is uh, an essential oil kind of sample starter kit and my whole three email course, which is a course I created very early on in my business just to help um, women before there was a lot more before there was a lot of resources around whole 30 just to navigate how to do a whole 30 um, whole 30 well and really figure out what foods work for their body that's the point of that what foods work for your body that's the point it's not about saying certain foods are good or bad okay so that's it from me if any of this was like resonating with you any major takeaways please let me know any takeaways from this um, and then, yeah, please find a time in my calendar for the next couple of weeks using that clarity link, um, madewell345.com slash clarity. And if you can't find a time there that works for you, please message me on Facebook or Instagram or email me and we can find a time because you are important. And the fact that you want to do this call, you're telling yourself that you are important. All right, that's it. Grateful for you. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I will talk to you all later.